Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, continuing the series SNCF 3710. Today is a new topic, it's called uh, user identity policy. So what is user identity policy? Uh, we learned a lot that uh, to control your traffic, we can control it based on um, host, specific host, for example, based on um, network, uh, based on geolocation, based on anything actually. But when you hear identity policy in any firewall, not only uh, Cisco, so it means you are dealing with users. These users could be uh, locally in the firepower or could be integrated with the Active Directory. And because like we are Cisco here, then it can be like eyes. Eyes is integrated with Active Directory and it's pulling the users from there, etc. So the most important thing right now to understand that we are controlling the traffic based on users. Great. So um, here is telling you that this translate the ability for firewall to take different action depending on the user associated with the connection. Great. Uh, it allows also the administrator to control which user or group are allowed or denied access to specific network services or application. Like whatever we learned before, Yes, you can apply based on this user group. What are the types of the identity policy we have? We have three main categories or three main types. Non-authoritative, it's called traffic-based detection. If you remember one of the videos previously we learned is the network discovery policy. Uh, the network discovery policy and we uh, it was helping us in the IPS tuning. Anyone forget that, please go back to the videos to understand what it does. So network discovery is telling me uh, the information about the hosts, the users uh, that are interactive in uh, our environment. So any user could be like learned by the network, by the network discovery policy. Yes, it can be based on that. And to be honest, this is not recommended, highly recommended to use it with the uh, Cisco because it's not accurate. For example, I can use a username. It's uh, anything <laughs> like Lollipop and uh, Lollipop uh, will be uh, putting in the side in this rule. I don't know. It's not like for, for a business use. Also, for the uh, network discovery, it can be learned for many protocols. These protocols could be like LDAP, could be from your email, uh, SMTP, POP3, whatever. Let's see the list. This is actually uh, uh, the list. Could be like from uh, SIP, like the voice over IP. If you are using SIP protocol, yes, it's support for that. FTP, HTTP. Anything you are using, so the network discovery will catch you. Not supported at all, uh, not accurate. No one is using, but it's a chapter, and it, uh, it's inside this chapter, so I have to explain. Then, it's link you here, the traffic-based, uh, like what I explained. You can read it when I upload it for you. Authoritative sources, authoritative sources, actually it can be... Uh, used based on the Active Directory. How the Active Directory? Normally we have server. Uh, this server, forget now eyes, because Cisco recommended you to deal it with eyes, but I will come to the eyes with the uh, separate video. Now, FMC is in the network and it's accessible by everyone. And I have here, let me go to the uh, the topology. Yes, uh, let me. Uh, where is my pen? Pen. Okay. So here is the FMC. FMC in the topology itself. It's connected to the switch, as we know. And these are so many uh, PCs and server here. So let me take it. Yes. 
what is my pin now let me see all the species are there and this is our server and has active directory great forget now about eyes i'm not talking about eyes. there is one thing called user agent this is user agent software from cisco and cisco now is not highly recommended for that because they want to push for eyes but it's the cheapest way how to do it the user agent will be installed in any pc reaching the server and reaching the fmc it should be it should be having reachability like for example pc10 it should be ping can read the fmc and it should be ping for this one then yes i can install the user agent here or user agent can be installed yes in the server active directory itself it doesn't matter could be if this is pc in the vlan 10 a20 is there yes also it can be installed so it can be installed in any place what is doing this this is actually an intermediate software it's a broker as a broker okay this software it will be installed here for example in pc in vlan 10 we will address that the active directory at this one and we address that the fmc this one this software can be uh, configured for five active directory and five fmc now we will see the point powerpoint it will grab the users there so it will be sent it to the fmc fmc will store it in the database for it and after that we will apply the user policy uh, the user identity policy and we'll see that okay for user for example Mi'ari do not allow him to go to the internet or do not allow him to uh, access or communicate with uh, VLAN 20 okay you will put your access rules based on username so the most professional way how to do that and in the environment yes from the active directory because in any company uh, all your laptops and pcs are uh, are using the domain controller so yes why not it's better to do that okay, great so let me uh, go back to my powerpoint here so this is the authority for that this one yes Authoritative sources it can be used to positively associate with username with IP addresses. Great, you must use an authoritative sources uh, if you want to use user based access control rules. Exactly, this method involves periodically updating the FMC with a list of known users and groups, with, which can then be used when creating access control rules. This is what I explained. Uh, you then use one of the support authority sources to associate an IP address with the username great sources can be user agent exactly and eyes you cannot use both together you have to choose from the beginning I want to use user agent yes please use all user agent I want to use eyes yes use eyes great so here the firepower user agent is read the login events from microsoft active directory so the agent will read the active directory and forward them to the fmc can be installed locally in active directory as what we said server or non-separate uh, windows uh, computer anything the most important thing the reachability when installed on a separate windows machine the agent can query up to five active directory servers and up to five firepower fmc's this is what I told you. Yes, you can. If you have more than one Active Directory and one more than FMC, yes, one user agent can support for that up to five. Great. User agent here is telling you like what is the user agent? Doesn't matter. The third one is called Captive Portal Authentication. The Captive Portal Authentication uh, is identity source that can be leveraged in Firepower. It requires users to authenticate to the network through managed devices, but optionally, it can also allow guest access. 
great for example if i'm using like user agent i can put in the rules if this user is unknown send him to capture portal capture portal is a web application portal okay that you will uh, tell the user to put for example his username and password okay to allow him to access uh, this can be used HTTP and HTTPS, but when you use it in HTTPS, please go back to our SSL certificate and you have to enable it. I told you SSL certificate, anything with HTTPS. Great, uh, whatever the perform active authentication, HTTPS, you must use an SSL policy to decrypt the traffic from the users you want to authenticate exactly. Identity policy can be configured to first look for passive authentication via the user agent or eyes. Great. If not, it can then redirect the user to captive portal authentication. I already said. To perform captive portal authentication, your device must serve up the uh, portal page to your uh, user that have IP address assigned. Perfect. Realm. Realm. This is actually when I'm I'm, I'm pronouncing it. It's a very funny word. Realm. Okay, Realm actually, this is the uh, connection methodology that you will tell your FMC who the Active Directory. Simply, you will put the IP address for it. And when, when you do the Realm configuration, after that, you will put the uh, distinguished name and all this stuff. We will see it later. For the theory, uh, almost well done. Um, let me go to uh, our topology just to see how things i'm not going to apply anything practical right now i will make it in another one so uh, how to configure this uh, first of all you need to install the user agent okay and the user agent i will upload it for you or you can download it from cisco for example if i go to vlan 10 if i go to yes the chill folder Uh, and the CCIE security there is here user agent inside the user agent you have to install first before installing the user agent inside this here the MSI uh, you have to install Microsoft SQL Server Compact okay uh, why uh, we are doing this because the user agent cannot be working with SQL SQL the temporary database that it will store uh, the users pulled from the Active Directory. So to avoid any problem, you have to install this first, and after that, you will install the user agent from here. Then this is PC10 now. Here's the user agent. And if you go to here in the settings, integration, If you go to realms, here you will add a new realm, and after that, identity source. We will choose. Check here with me the identity source service type none or eyes, and here it's enable user agent cloud. So this is the user agent. They put it for you in the corner. Now please do not use it. Buy eyes and. <laughs> integrated with ice okay uh, but this is actually how it could be after uh, configuring this then the FMC will pull all the uh, domains uh, the user domains from uh, the active directory after that you will go to the policy everything is policy when it comes to Cisco and you will go to for identity and you start put your policy and after that integrated with the access control inside here the access control let me tell you what the identity to remind you. Okay, for example, take any any anything. Take it here. So here, if you can see the users, here identity policy with authentication rules required. There is here uh, orange triangle. It means there is a problem because you didn't create realm and you didn't integrate it still so when you do this you will find all the users here 
then you can create it and do your work. Uh, for the time being, I will stop the uh, video in here. I hope it will be like uh, not difficult and informative. Please not forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share as much as you can to support my channel. And we will continue in next lecture. Thank you very much.